you look at your new headlight, compare it with your old one, make sure you got the right one. And then it's a good way to determine where the mounting bolts are. On this, there's three where the bolts go, one here, one here, and one here. And then there's a little tab here that gets locked in. So now you can find where those locations are. And if you look under here, you can see there's just enough room to get a socket in there and an extension, one there, one there, and then one around here. So we're gonna start by removing those. 10 millimeter socket with an extension. I'm gonna sneak in here and start to remove these. Now I'm going to carefully grab that screw. There we go. And next one right here. Make sure that's on there. Move that. And we got one more right back here. Before I try and take this light out, there's a little thing right here that holds the weather strip on. So I just want to pop that up, make sure that's free. Pop it out here. Just like that. Now there's a, a little clip right here that holds this light in. So we're going to just take and use a little bit of force and just try and pop it out real quick. Just like that and carefully pull this out so we can remove these bulbs and twist that and then pull that out. Careful not to touch the bulb with your fingers. It might burn out. Now I can take this small bulb out that off to the side and then these ones I'm gonna take a small screwdriver and just release these clips on both sides same here and then just remember where those go and your old headlights out so you'll notice to get these bulbs out you could probably get this one out still really tight and you won't get this one out. So what you have to do is actually remove this as a piece. And the way you do that is there is a small T15 screw right in here. And you want to remove that one screw. Now that screws out. And on the back side, there's two points where this is clipped in. There's one right here. There's kind of a guide that is clipped into. And then there's one right under here that's kind of hard to see. What you might have to do is take a pick to help you with these uh, tabs right here on the inside. But this is worn out, so I can just push that and do the same thing on this side. You might have to put a screwdriver in here to help release that. But then this whole thing, also got to release this, but the whole thing will come right out. And then you can remove your bulbs. Just by turning them, pulling them out. So now on the new headlight, you can see that screw is in the same place. It's a Phillips right here. So start by taking that screw out. I'll just leave that screw there for now. If it falls out, that's okay. And now I can grab right here and kind of push with my thumbs as I grip around here. And that'll just pop out nice and easy. And then the other side, like I said, if it's in good shape, you might have to take a screwdriver 
and push these tabs in a little bit just to help you like that and again this weather stripping and this comes right out these are those little tabs that I was telling you about you just kind of squeeze in now I'm just going to take these covers off these are just to protect from stuff getting in the light during shipping. Take those off. And then I can take my bulbs and they have a little keyway. One of the pieces are, is bigger. They rotate into place. Same thing over here. Locks in. Now when you put this back in, make sure this lines up with this track here. This piece locks into here, and then this locks into here. All at the same time. Just like that. And then you can tighten that screw back down. Don't forget to reattach this weather stripping right here. Now this bulb that came with the light is a test bulb. So we're gonna take that out and put the old one in or we can put a new one in. Now we can bring this over to the truck and reinstall it. Before I reinstall this bulb, you'll notice it's pretty burnt out. So now's a good time to do this. If you have burnt bulbs or they're getting old, you can replace them while the headlight's out and we can reinstall our headlight. Put this bulb back in, line up the tabs and then turn it clockwise. We can reattach these connectors. They snap into place. Now this bulb, you just Make sure it seats completely. That gasket there is gonna give you a hard time. Wiggle it into place. Just like that. And then you can take this piece and line up the tabs. Lock that into place. On the back side of the headlight, there's an alignment tab right here, and then this is the clip that pops in right here. Alignment tab goes here, and that's where that clip goes. So line up those tabs, and then just give it a little push. and it locks into place. Now you can hold your headlight where it needs to be and reinstall your three bolts. You don't wanna crank these down because it is holding against plastic, so you don't wanna crack that. Now you can take this weather stripping and pop it back into place up here. Might need to pull these through on the bottom just to lock them into place. Now to adjust these, you have an adjustment right here, Phillips head screwdriver, and right here. And you always wanna do headlights in pairs. You don't wanna have one brand new headlight like this and a real dirty one on the other side. So that procedure for the other headlight is the same exact thing. This is going to be a general tutorial on how to aim your brand new TRQ headlamp assemblies. Okay, so looking at your brand new TRQ headlamp assembly, you're gonna see where your low beam is and you'll see a little dot right in the center. And that is the axis point, okay? So what we're gonna do is we're gonna mark that with an erasable marker just so it's easier to see. Next, what we need to do 
is measure from the level ground up to this point and take note of that measurement. Now we're just going to pull the car up to our wall. On our vehicle, we remember that the measurement was 28 inches for our access point. Your vehicle may be different, but that's where I'm going to put this tape, just above that 28 inches. We'll do the same on the other side. Okay, so let's just back the vehicle up, straight back, 25 feet from the wall. And now that we moved our vehicle 25 feet back from the wall, we're going to start with our measurement here. That's where the headlamp center is. We're going to go down four inches on the driver's side. On the passenger side, we have our line here. What we need to do is go down two inches. To adjust the driver's side, we're going to cover our passenger side headlamp. If you look at the back side of your headlamp assembly, you're going to see something that looks like this. This is the adjustment. Some of these headlight assemblies have one, two, or even more of them, but you should at least have one. This is how we're going to adjust the headlight beam. Now we're going to lower the top part of the beam down to just below this line. When you turn the adjustment to the right, it brings the beam up, and if you turn it to the left, it'll bring the headlight beam down. And this is this way on most vehicles. Let's continue on to doing the passenger side. All right, we properly aligned our TRQ headlamp assemblies. Okay, and on the quality TRQ headlamps for a pickup truck, the procedure is going to be the same. You're going to find your center dot, mark it, and then you'll measure from the level ground up to your dot. So once your headlamps are properly adjusted, it'll be time to adjust your fog lamps. You'll notice on the driver's side, the focal point is all the way at the bottom right now. I would like to bring it up so it meets up with approximately the bottom of the focal point of the headlight. Some fog lamps have an adjuster, others don't. The ones that do have an adjuster, you would just turn the adjustment to the left or to the right to adjust the beam up and down to where it needs to be. Now with your TRQ headlamps and fog lamps properly aligned, you can drive down the road safely.